All right. Welcome, everybody, to the Wednesday, April 28th, 6.30 p.m. City Council regular meeting. I call the meeting to order. Is that good? That was my, that was my, uh, my fist, and it hurts a little now, so thank you. Uh, Here. Councilor Ross. Yep. Councilor Blum. Here. And my name is Michael Preden. I am here as well. All right, thank you very much. Um, next item on the agenda is the, uh, uh, the approval of the agenda. Do I have a motion, please? Councilor Conley moves to approve the agenda. Thank you. May I have a second, please? Councilor Ross seconds. Thank you. Uh, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 And nays, there are none. So thank you so much. The agenda has been approved. Uh, the next item on the agenda is the historic. I'm sorry. The item on the agenda is visitor communication. Carrie, do we have any visitor communication? We do. We have one visitor, Angelica Rose. Angelica, can you please state your name and uh, where you live for the council? And you have three minutes to speak. And um, tell me when my three minutes starts, please. My name is Angelica Rose, and I live in Sisters. Thank you. And you are good to go. Okay. Am I um, the purpose of my being here, and I want to thank you in advance for this, is um, to kind of give you um, an overall picture of what is important about sisters. I, um, I was taking a walk and going to church, and there was this beautiful deer that literally came three feet in front of me. And we had this eye-to-eye -eye contact. Now, if you own a dog, you know how loving animals are. But you don't realize that this deer, when you're feeling the vibration of the deer and you're giving this eye contact, there was so much love and fragility coming from this deer. And it just blew me away that the deer literally came three feet away from me and just stopped. And we just had this beautiful connection. When I came out of the church, there was a whole family of deer in this very small patch of land. And right next to it was a bulldozer. And I knew at that moment that God wanted me to speak up. So the purpose of my talking today is balance. One of the beautiful ladies here, the council mentioned the word balance. And I moved to Sisters from someplace that was bigger like Bend. And I also lived in the Portland area before it got all built up and all the trees got torn down and well, not all of them, but a lot of them. And it turned into a big city. Many people leave various states for various reasons to come to a slower paced lifestyle like sisters, I'm one of them. And I enjoy the taking the walk, seeing beautiful deer walking by or birds flying. Well, if we start building, we're gonna turn this into another city. I also did a lot of research on trees and trees soak up the uh, water when it rains. It also keeps the air clean. If we keep cutting down things for money, which we don't take with us when we leave this planet, we take what we give to this planet, not anything else. And so with that being said, not only does that affect the climate here, but it also affects the flooding. And by continually building here, we can potentially have more crime here. And so I'm urging you to please stop all this overbuilding and allow sisters to be what it's intended to be, a community, of people that want to have a smaller lifestyle, that want to get to know each other and want to love each other for what it represents, um, a very peaceful place. And if we keep cutting down things and building, we're going to turn this beautiful place into another miniature LA. And it's going to take away all that beauty that's necessary for us to have, including the trees and the deer and all that other stuff that is important to have. And the last thing that I want to mention is, if you remember when you first moved here, how small things were, and yes, it was important to do some building to create more business here. I'm not denying that. But when we go to an extreme level, that's when we start to have issues that take away the beauty and take away the personality that Sisters really does have. So I beg of you to please stop. I wouldn't have been guided by God here if it wasn't important to talk about this. Thank you so much for listening to me. Thank you so much. We appreciate your comments. And um, you can be sure that everybody's heard, heard your message. Thank you so much. Thank you.
God bless.